What's up there, it's Mr. Mike Kaufman. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to use Screencastify uh, tools while recording to improve your ability to create quality educational videos. So right here, you're seeing the first tool, which is the uh, camera. So it's really helpful to have your students see you, to be able to see your facial expressions and to connect with you. And the nice thing about it is you can move it around in your recording and you can also size it, right? So pro tip, start off with a larger video when you're introducing your topic uh, to engage students and then either make it smaller or right get rid of it if you're then getting into some deeper information. Another cool thing is you can create little boxes in your slides presentation where your video is going to go to help you design your slides. Now the first set of tools here that I want to point out and we're going to actually skip over to this next slide here is the markup tool, right? the pencil. You can quickly adjust the color and then you can draw, for example, to highlight certain things going on and then click back on your mouse to then be able to move. So for example, if you were to be defining a definition of a word, get that pencil out there, right? Info, change the color, graphics, right? So it's a compound word and you can use that then to help draw attention to your students to prompt their attention to it. The next tool that I wanna get into, the next set of tools is your emphasis on your cursor, right? So the first one here is when it brings emphasis to it. So this is good, again, if you want your students to focus in on one thing. Uh, also great if you're giving them a tutorial on how to use a tech tool or something. Great to bring attention there to your cursor. You can also turn that off by clicking on it again. You can then go to hide cursor when it's not moving so it becomes less of a distraction in your video. See, there it goes, pops away. Um, and then when you move it, it shows back. And then the one that I personally really like is emphasizing the clicks, right? So again, really helpful if you're showing your students how to use a tech tool. Say, all right, click on the background and then notice that it then, right, pops up, right? For example, add in a shape and then it does a little pinkish circle right around it. Now, uh, going back here to the next tool over there, which is erase, but let me first do some drawings. The eraser has two features, right? If you click on it, you can then erase parts of it. Or if you have a whole bunch of writing and you want to clear it all at once, you hover over that eraser, click on it, click that square button, and it clears all your drawings, right? Now to get rid of your video, you can simply click that and it's gone. You click it again and it pops back up. Now the last thing we can talk about is the pause button. Super useful feature, right? Pause to take a breath. Pause if you have some noise going in the background. Pause if you need to regroup your ideas or to change tabs or to go to a different website. Right, click pause, and then if you want to restart the video, you can click restart. You can stop your recording if you're totally done, or you click the play button again, and it'll continue right, to record. Now, that is it. That is your introduction to the tools of Screencastify, again, to help improve your ability to create instructional videos that help your students learn. Good luck.